So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story when I was growing up, around six years old, and my mom knew what I was capable of because as mothers, you get to understand, you see your child, what they do on a daily basis, and you actually get to understand what they are capable of. So she introduced me into a, a church setting of being able to sing in front of a pulpit, recite verses, at least five every Sabbath. Uh, and then uh, I had one Saturday or one Sabbath in the month where I had to preach. Preach for a congregation of about 50 plus people. Now, for her, her intention was not me to learn the Bible or to preach. Yes, that's part of it. But she wanted to build my confidence. Mm. Now, in doing that, she made me um, sort of aligned to what I wanted to do in life, sort of a purpose. But as you grow up, you become an adolescent and some things you don't want to associate with and you run away from it. And But the, the foundation does not go. The foundation that that person put in you for the last four or five years doesn't go. So my mom in her mind, she knew it that Adele was destined to be a speaker, to be able to, to do, to impact lives. But I was running away from it for so long, actually, for mm -hmm. so long. So when I go into the working space, I started, you know, missing it because now this was every day you're running, you're doing that, you're doing the other. And I was doing something outside um, or outside something that makes like a passion, like, like a calling. Mm. And, and that required me to put in the work, you're doing worksheets, you're looking at budgets, you're, you know, all those things. And I wanted an outlet. So I remembered, like, listen, I have something I love doing. I love talking to people. I love speaking. I like impacting lives. So from my busy schedule, let me do what I love doing. So what is the quickest way of doing it? I said, let me put up a YouTube channel. And that's how it was born. So it was born as an outlet to just dump thoughts there and, and, and use my experience, use the what, the what I'm doing, because I'm a lawyer and I'm also an HR practitioner. So I thought, dump everything there. If you can impact one or two lives, perfect because we don't need a whole crowd. You just need one person to believe in what you do and to learn something from you. And then they'll tell other people and other people tell other people before you know it, you have a gathering. That's how churches work. They push to one person <laughs> and then they bring others on board. And before you know it, the congregation is big. So that's how the YouTube channel was born. And the focus being leadership, accountability and growth it was just uh, because that's where my expertise is. I've been a leader for the last 10 plus years. Um, growth, I love to be different every single day, even if it means reading one chapter or even if it means listening to one podcast, just to be different from how I started my day, I will do it. Um, and about accountability, um, I like my, I saw my mother still, she's my benchmark for almost everything I do. <laughs> um, I saw her being accountable. She has a bookshelf that has everything she does. The workers in her plantation are written down and everything they do. Their age, where they come from, like she's accountable. The money she spends every day, it is accounted for. Every single coin that goes out. So I learned that from also, the beginning, the childhood. So I said, okay, if that's the how she runs her home and it is successful, it means we can put accountability as well as a, as a value in our lives. It can change worlds. It can change multitudes. So that's how I, I, I managed to, to coin my channel into leadership, growth, and accountability. And for me, those are values that if even myself, or even if my children or anyone's children or anyone's home implemented them, 
there would be a different home altogether and a different perspective yeah. on life. So that is how that was born. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm glad that you're watching and it is impacting lives as well. So thank you for that. <laughs>